Look at that lovely new starting screen that was... It was made on Sunday on my Ben Get Stuff Done stream. Okay, well I can confirm that it's working. Why is it streaming over there? Nope. It's a really, uh, really a strong start to the day. <laughs> I have like three Twitch windows open because I was copying and pasting the links over to uh, to get people in with the um, with the um, with the links on the social medias. And um, well, apparently they started playing automatically. So it seems like that's working. I'm not wearing my headphones because it's really hot out. And um, I have a feeling that I'll die if I uh, if I put my headphones on. It's really, <laughs> I was messing around <laughs> with Photoshop on, on the Discord chat. I forgot that was open. Oh yeah, there's another one. <laughs> Good times. That's what I get for opening up random stuff. At least it wasn't butts. Um, yeah, so I was, uh, I'm very warm, and that might cause problems with the stream today, um, just from a productivity standpoint, but I have my big old jug of water, which I've had in the freezer for like the last hour and a half, so hopefully that'll help me keep cool. Um, aside from that, I'm just uh, sitting around waiting for four o'clock to roll around so I can get this party started. I apologize, as always, if you hear background noise from the fan that I've got blowing on me. But I desperately need um, any type of cooling that I can get right now, both external. It wasn't butts, no. Amy, I thought you were going to sleep. You told me explicitly that you were going to go to sleep because you live a million miles away. And it's like 2 a.m. already. Well, it's not 2 a.m., but it's early or late, depending on depending on where you are. Um, so yeah, this um, stream. I guess I can start talking about the theme. Um, this stream is for a patron. It was a patron request, and the theme suggestion. It's not very long. The theme suggestion was a, a Pokemon style, which I guess he's uh, filming a video at some point in the future where he wants to use a Pokemon type song. So uh, we'll see how well I do with that. I was um, I actually have Hook Theory open right here, and um, I've been kind of going over. Oh. Go uh, fill your bathtub full of ice and sleep in that. So I've been I've been listening to this and trying to kind of break down what makes it sound. And I I'm not using the YouTube link because of copyright reasons. Um, I'll just use the piano one. But so like I've been trying to figure out how all that works and. Um, No, uh, it wasn't that. What was it? Either way, um, I'll probably use this as a bit of a reference. Um, yeah, that was right. So, it's... Uh, it's partially the um, the instrumentation as well. Like it's very synthy. Um, at least I have a good tempo to work off here, 144. Um, so that'll be good. And um, I will definitely give it a try. I <laughs> I uh, I am always up for a challenge, and this one is definitely going to be a challenge. I'm I'm looking forward to it. So it is four o'clock, and I am woefully unprepared. Let me get my let me get my. Oops, no. There we go. I don't want to start another Twitch instance. Go away. 
Um, we'll kick it over to Ableton. Oh, wait, I don't need that one. That's text stuff. Timer's there. So 20000. Perfect. Um, so, yeah, I guess I will just get this going and see what I can do. Here goes. Don't minimize. There we go. Rearrange the windows so I can see everything. And I'll delete this so I have a fresh project. And um, I don't think I need that. So a couple things are going on here. First, um, I'm going to bring the tempo up to just 145 because 144 is just too slow for me. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring in an FM8, which is a subtractive synthesizer. And hopefully it will give me a better feeling of the um, kind of the synth pluck that I'm looking for. And this text is super tiny. So, um, excuse me a second. Or, alternatively, I can just, no, plucked strings is not what I'm looking for, though. Um, I'm looking for, like, a plucked lead. Maybe, like, an electric piano. So that's not like the same chord progression as as the Pokemon theme. But it's definitely, it has that same kind of vibe to it. And I'm not really liking any of these, so I might just switch over to Massive. Like I said, I've been, I've been trying to use Massive more often lately. Um, and really, I'm just looking for a super basic pluck sound. It's um, not anything... Uh, it's a little bit more than that. Um, but it has to have a little bit more, a little bit more beef than that too. So I'm going to work on this for a little bit. And as always, I'm going to need a name for this track. And I guess we can keep it somewhat Pokemon themed without getting sued. Um, so I guess... That's something that uh, we can work on. I'm gonna do a little bit of this, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Man, I need new glasses, or this thing just keeps getting smaller every time I look at it. Oops, that's not the one I wanted to move. I wanted to move this one. Okay, and then I can take that envelope and I can actually bring it over here for the cutoff. So now we'll get... And I apologize if that's loud. I think it is. Yeah, it's very loud. I need to find a better way of organizing my windows, which I think just means buying another monitor, um, which is something that Pokemans, Pocketmans, I like that. <laughs> I might take that. And then like instead of a sphere, like you have like a Rubik's cube with like the colors on it, like red and then white. Pocket man's got to catch most of them. Um so another thing I'm going to actually bring I'm going to leave this at 0 and I'm going to bring in another layer that's an octave lower. And um, hopefully this will give it a little bit more beef. Uh, and I want this to be... Yeah. Doo -doo -doo. And I, the, it sounds very simple right now, but I'm going to add a little bit more processing to it um, once I once I get this going. Uh. 
So Okay, so this actually goes down to here. Yeah. That's still pretty loud. I'll uh So looping there. I didn't think that looked right. Like my like I like I said my brain is a little bit fried already just because it's hot out. So another thing that I noticed when I was looking at the um the charts is that there's a lot of off beats. Like this one this one starts a little bit early. This one where is it? This one kind of starts a little bit early. And um, so there's a lot of um, things that are off like the grid as far as just like everything's on the one. So you, it's, it's good to, to have that going as well. And then we'll do the second bar, which um, is actually, it goes into a deceptive cadence, which is, uh, it goes to the, to the six instead of the one. So we'll go to the six, which is F major. And yeah, I'm kind of going off the playbook right now and just going off of what's what already exists. But I feel like this is at least a good starting off point. And I've already mixed around the um I've already mixed around like the 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 words. I don't know what words I'm trying to say. The the um the rhythm and just like how everything generally feels. I changed the key around mostly just so it's a little bit easier for me to manage. So we go to three, stay on three. And then I want to kind of go back to the one, five suspend, which again, I'm not really following this anymore. I'm just kind of, I'm kind of going off of what I think kind of feels right. And then that would be the five. So this, whoops, the five would be here. No, the five would be here. We go to the suspend. And maybe this wouldn't work or this won't work, uh, but I am willing to try it. And then we can go to the one again. which would be there. So we'll see if this, uh, this actually kind of sounds good. Uh, well, first of all, I actually need a suspended chord here and it feels like I'm missing a chord change here. Yeah, so these need to be, well, let's just uh, delete these. Um,
Okay, and like I said, these need to be suspended. So now I'm just uh, <clears throat> I'm just messing around with this a little bit more and um, going off of going off of what uh, what I have and I've I really what I want to do in the end is just kind of close this and then do everything myself. Um, but I feel like since I'm not familiar and honestly, I'm not really super familiar with Pokemon and I don't know if that makes me a bad person like outright or if that's just something that I need to, I need to deal with in my life. Um, <clears throat> so like I, uh. Okay, so I feel like I have like a good introduction here. And really, if, if you look at this, the first eight bars and the second eight bars are almost the same, including the melody, but I, I'm not even going to worry about the melody yet. So like everything here is pretty much the same, which is interesting because it goes with what I say about building melodies. Like the only thing different is that there isn't this little lead in right here. This actually just stays as a suspended chord. So um, what I'll probably do is I'll do something similar, and um, which is easy because I just go like this, and then I'll just uh, dupe these over, and then we have the second section. And then when it comes to the main bit, there's a little bit more variation, and we'll get to that in a little bit. What I want to do is I want to actually take what I have here and... Um, work on creating like sound design bits now rather than just uh rather than just the chord progression i th i feel like i will mess with the chord progression a little bit more because it feels a little bit stale but it also might feel stale just because i don't have anything to go with it excuse me oh my god I am uh, very warm. <laughs> I'm looking forward to fall and winter. And um, honestly, it's just those fall and winter are, are way better for me creatively just because when I'm warm like this, it's really hard. It's really hard to get things done. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fill this out a little bit. And um, adding a very small reverb might help with that. And um, is the chorus in here? No, the chorus is in here. Yeah, so I have a I kind of want to put some basic drums in right now um just because I think that it'll help give things a little bit more a little bit more presence. There it goes. hats that I want. Yep, 
Yeah. So um, let's just try something like this. The phone just went bonkers. I think somebody left me a YouTube comment. Yep. Because <clears throat> like when I get a YouTube comment, I get an email and I get a notification from YouTube and it's like, oh my God, just chill out. So my phone goes like crazy. So I'm just going to start with this. Okay, so... So it's one, two. Yeah, that's not what I want. What was I going for here? Let's just... Okay. So obviously this sounds kind of janky right now, but hopefully... Hopefully with enough love I can... Um, I can bring it... Bring it up to speed. And again, it's like, it's just gonna take a little bit of work, but I think that uh, it'll help. Maybe if I bring these to this one, I won't have as much overlap. And these can be quieter. So that's a good um it's a good tempo but the rhythm is off. So Yeah, so I Above and beyond this, I want to bring this up a little bit. It's getting there. Oh, too much. Oh, I have a barfing cat. I'll be back in a second. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Well, I guess, I guess that's one advantage of not having your headphones on. I can actually hear that happening for whatever that's worth. So I was thinking that instead of having this hard cut off like that, I can go like this.
I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. I um I wish that I could just play the reference track while I'm making this because that would definitely help a lot when it comes to just figuring out the instrumentation. Like I was I was like listening to it beforehand, but that can only go so far. Like I should have I should have written better notes. <clears throat> But, you know, I actually had serious, serious times at work today, um, which sucks. Um, just some stuff kept blowing up and I need to have a lot of research to do tomorrow. Actually, this could be an every other kind of thing. And that should work pretty well. So really what I can do is I can join it here, set this to loop, and go like this. Um, so a little post-processing might help uh, just outside of Massive, and that might just be the reverb, having a little bit more. And then let's um, let's work on trying to get a basic guitar. And uh, I don't know how. Ugh, barf. Um, harmonic guitar lead, just regular old guitar. That's not what I wanted. Funk guitar, electric guitar. <clears throat> I'm looking for just a basic one that I can run through. Um... Oops, that's not what I want, and that's not what I want either. Oh no. Problem is if I hit it at full velocity, does that uh, that pitch bend, which I do not want. Um, so yeah, if I take this and run it through Guitar Rig, um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm looking for, for just a, uh, that's too much. <laughs> kind of like that, except a lot quieter. Can I pitch bend this? Kind of. Sorry, just thinking. With a guitar in that phrase. Um, so the theme for today is um, create a song in the general style of the Pokemon theme song because one of my patrons for my Patreon account uh, is apparently doing a video of some sort with uh, Pokemon themed. So. And I mean, the problem that I have here is like in this bit right here, it's like, I want to be the very best, the best I ever was. Ba -da -boom. And it's like, you can't, I, I don't want to add lyrics to this. Although having pocket man's lyrics might be pretty good. 
I mean, I don't know what I would do for that, but if, <laughs> let's see. I want to I want to have the very best. Pocket Mans. Yeah, so I mean it works great. <laughs> yeah, there I mean there is definitely lag and that's just indicative of how Twitch works. Um <clears throat> So this is kind of where I'm uh, going off of the the script for the Pokemon theme. I don't want to go to the fifth. I want to go to the third. Do, 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 do. Gotta go to the, gotta go to the, um, yeah. I thought I could get away with it. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's, there's a lot of good ideas here, and I definitely want to, like, take advantage of as many ideas as I can. But I also don't want to just like full on rip off the Pokemon theme song. I want to get like the, the general feeling of it, but I don't want to um, just be like, yep, this is the theme song. Can't I can't do that? Do do do. And then I'm just gonna take that note and bring it over here. Yeah, that is right. <laughs> yeah, and that's my problem. Like like I mentioned earlier, I'm not super familiar with the Pokemon theme, but I know enough of it and I listened to it a couple of times before I started this stream where it's just like I kind of want to just keep rolling with it, but at the same time, I oh yeah. It's honestly I completely agree with you. Like it's so good to watch other people like try to figure shit out like that's why i love watching streams because like you get to see their creative process and see them run up against roadblocks and it's just like oh it's not just me that sucks all the time <laughs> Okay, well, one thing I want to do is I want to mess around with this. Right now, I feel like there's a reverb in here somewhere that's causing a lot of... Maybe there isn't. Let's try a different... This might work. 
yeah, I like this better. Um, in addition, there might be a reverb on here, yeah. And what I want is I want to dump that reverb way at the end, and I'm actually going to, uh, oops, I'm actually going to create a, a send channel for the reverb so I can just send everything over to it. Now, I don't want it to be super big, but I want it to work on mixing everything together. So again, like this sounds too similar. Yeah, exactly, Bun Cakes. That's kind of what I'm just realizing that um But how do you how I don't I guess Alternatively, instead of going up to that deceptive cadence, I can go down to it, so it'll sound good. <laughs> Pretty much. And, I mean, that's kind of the fun of it. It's like... It's it's a song for fun and it's it's going to be used for in a fun video I would only assume. So it's like if all I'm trying to do is get the semblance of the sound. Um and like I said before, like I I'm not super familiar with how how the original sounds, so I might just be straight up ripping it off and um I'm gonna add some velocity changes in here because I feel like it'll help um, accentuate the rhythm a little bit more. <clears throat> you gotta get those, I don't know the technical term for what they are, but I call them staggered triplets. You get that dun 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 dun. So since I did that, I have to actually put the velocity in here. Okay. We've got we've got something going here. <clears throat> I'm just changing the velocities around a little bit so it doesn't sound as robotic. Um and some more percussion would help and I'll just go grab some um drum kits salamanders just some basic like a crash um because well actually i can probably dump a crash in here too but then it would mess up my loop so this might be loud i'm sorry that's yeah, all right around with this a little bit more see if I can make it more interesting without copyright infringement and I like these crashes but I don't like the initial hit so I'm gonna like flare them so they sound um, like this which I think fits better <clears throat> so 
So, Amy's suggestion of pocket mans with a Z um, is is good enough for me. Um, I, I'm just trying to figure out uh, how I can do the rest of this. And um, I don't know why, but I like the idea of having like a choir. No, that's not it. What? Just like super in the background. I just go like this. Mostly just for texture more than anything else. So we'll see how that sounds. Yeah. <clears throat> Again, I can crank up the reverb on this. Oops. Okay, you guys go to the end. You go there. if I bring this up an octave yeah I don't like how grungy it is so I'm gonna try to make it a little bit less okay and this does have a vintage reverb on it God, it's so small. Maybe my glasses are just dying because I remember reading these just fine. Otherwise, maybe I'm just sitting too far back. Yeah, um, Ableton is really nice for MIDI editing. And honestly, if you want a good MIDI editor, the best one you can go with is FL Studio. Um, there are tons of um, options in FL Studio that you really can't find in any other program. Which is too bad because, like, uh, I moved from FL Studio f seven or eight years ago. Palm mutes. That's not a bad idea. I don't even know if I can do that with this, though. Like, I can make really short notes. But it's just going to it's just gonna be like... Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> and that's the thing like i wish i was a better guitar player because well i could tr like i have these guitars and I love having them and I love using them when I can, but, oops, I wanna duplicate this as, I also feel like I'm not, come on, there we go. Guitar rate, copy, paste. No, that's still a MIDI channel. What the heck? Paste. Shoo. Yeah, and I could use a different, I could use a different guitar as well, and that's. Yeah, so, and this has, there we go. 
There's a lot of weird noise going on in the background for this. So if I go back to like the monster, where was that one? Yeah. It might be better if I use my bass guitar. So much noise. Listen to that awesome feedback too, or just line noise. Like I need to, I need to fix my stuff. Where's a gate? Get out of here. I mean, yeah, this this would sound rad if I could get it, but I'd like be playing it. I'd be playing it like one note at a time. That's not so bad, I think. Oh my god, the, the noise though is out of control. I have a feeling that it's more, it's more a uh, problem. Yeah, I'm killing a bunch of time here. I have a feeling it's more a problem with uh, the compression than anything else. Yeah, wrong one. Yeah. Twin delay, octaverb, compressor. It's just so it's so fast like I I'd, I'd have to do it one note at a time. Try again. I do want to do this. Oh god. The problem is I want to do this but I don't want to do it on stream because I feel like it's just annoying. I can't go fast enough for that. And I could do it one note at a time. Like I could go like this, just derp it over here. And maybe that's good enough. <laughs> that gate though. I, it just feels like it's cheating and I just, one thing I want to do when I have more time, and it's, it's always when I have more time, um, it's like I want to take guitar lessons. And that's actually one of my Patreon rewards, but I don't want to, um, I don't want to rely specifically on my Patreon for something like that because that's self-improvement. And self-improvement is something that should always be done, you know, when, uh, when you're able to. So... It's just one of those things that I need to, uh, but yeah, this is going to sound super robotic, which honestly, it's probably not going to sound any worse than if I had, 
if I had put in the notes manually with something else. Yeah, honestly, it's fine. But that also means that if I keep doing it this way, I'm going to have to do it for everything. Um, and that's going to be a little annoying. Because otherwise I could just play the entire scale note by note. But... Um, yeah, and... That's a possibility. I could try putting this in a sim sampler. Um, this is the longest note, so what I'll do is uh, let's create a new. Oops, let's create a new MIDI channel and uh, drop this in there. And. Um, I'm not getting any output. Okay. So this is supposed to be A. So controls transpose down by three. So now the roundabout way of doing this <laughs> I guess that kind of works. Oh, yeah, simpler sampler. I um I just dragged it in there. I guess I could convert it to a simpler or a sampler. No, it was simpler. Okay. Um so yeah, I mean this kind of works. Yeah, sure, why not? It's better than dicking around with all these. Um. Especially since I only have like an hour left already. So I gotta get my ass in gear. I, Like I said at the beginning of this, I, the heat is kind of killing me. This is the this is the new simpler. This is what the new simpler is. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> you got it, Mc Mc Miguel. Gilmer. I'm trying to say that, and my brain is not working. Um, but yes, the theme for today is creating a Pokemon style track, and this might be a little too far, too close to the Pokemon theme, but um, I feel like it's far enough away to where I'm not completely ripping them off, but I kind of am. Um, but I got to get my ass in gear if I want to. If I want to keep. Yeah, a lot of people have been complaining about leg, and I don't think it's on my end, because I don't have any dropped frames, and like my my upload speed is going pretty pretty steady, so I'm not really sure. Um. So yeah. How how much is the leg? I mean, the twitch delay should be about 20 seconds usually. So if it's more than 20 seconds, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised that it was the um, the two-hour track challenge from a couple weeks ago. 
or two hour trek Sunday. Like everybody's doing it. And like the reason why I'm doing it is because it was a patron request and uh, he's doing a video on Pokemon. So. Um, so this should actually be here. I feel like this is a little flat, which is since it's okay. So I need to fix this too, because there we go. Mursa, thank you. Miguel, Miguel, not Miguel. Jeez, my my brain is totally fried. Fried today. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, and twenty seconds is the standard for for Twitch delay, and I could try to lower it. Uh, it's always been twenty seconds, so. That's just how conversations kind of work on Twitch. Which is unfortunate to some degree. Yeah, I um I'm not really sure what exactly I'm doing here. Um but I feel like what I'm going to do is I have like the general chord progression for the for the main chorus and I'm going to bring that in but I'm not really going to um follow any of the conventions within like the Pokemon theme song as much um because like I have I've established the thing to be like, oh, hey, guys, this is kind of like the Pokemans. And um, and I want to break away from it after that and just kind of do my own thing. So I'm, I'm going to try to bring in a little bit more rhythm here. <laughs> well, I'm I'm honored to be that first foreigner even though I kind of still messed it up. Okay, maybe Is there a cowbell in here? There has to be a cowbell in here somewhere. I feel the need for a cowbell just because it's so. Yeah. Eh, maybe not. If it's quiet enough, maybe. Like to help keep rhythm. On every beat. And just make it quiet. It's cheesy. I love it. Actually, let me just merge all these together. It'll be a lot easier to edit. Where was that snare roll now? Yeah. 
So that should go here. <clears throat> Those are too loud. Whoa. Yeah, my brain is just not working today. So when I'm when I'm done with this stream, I will go back and check my um check my settings and try to remove that leg at least a little bit. This is pretty cool so far. With the main synth for some reason, it doesn't feel like matching the guitar. Yeah, and um, you're kind of right for a lot of different reasons. Um, like, in theory, for the most part, it is matching, except for a couple notes at the end here. Um, rhythmically, it's not the same, and it's like I need to put on my headphones to listen to it properly, and it's just so hot out. <laughs> like this part, this part's good. Yeah, and like... That's good. I should I should look at this a little bit more. Um, oh, since this is kind of MIDI now, I should be able to pitch bend it. Yeah. Now I got pitch bends, man. That actually helps a lot. right here and I'm going to try to create another run of notes. Um, and since that's here, oops. Yeah, the bends actually help a lot. I'm super glad that I uh, am revisiting these at least a little bit. The, it if nothing else, it helps create a little bit more, a little bit more realistic sound. As, like as much as you can. <laughs> and like, 
I can create a little bit of a, a vibrato if I wanted to by going like this. It'll sound better now. Yeah. Um, like it ain't it ain't perfect, but I'm okay with that. It looks like Guitar Rig finally fixed their bug where if I close the window, it doesn't actually delete all my settings. So that's a nice uh, that's a nice uh, change of pace. Cool. I'm actually going to do <clears throat> uh, bend right here, too. Actually, it's going to go the other way. Meow. I don't want to do with bends in the beginning as much because that's kind of just where you're establishing everything. I feel like there's still a lot of buzz for this though. And I understand like the buzz is nice. But at the same time, it's, it's a little annoying. And that's just the problem with using. It's the problem with using like presets. Like I have to dig through all of these and figure out figure out what's going on. And it's like it's hard to I don't really like this one. That's yeah, better. And this splits and this mixes the split. So the B section has has um, the amp. So maybe it's this amp. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, so we've got 30 minutes or 30 seconds, 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 seconds of music. So that's, there's a ways to go. Um, okay. <sighs> so warm, man. Ugh. My uh, water bottle condensated all over my desk. So I'll be back in a second. I'm going to get a paper towel. I think I have a back in a minute thing. Boop. Yeah. So I'll be back in one second. I should really, at some point, create a better uh, BRB image, but whatever. Um, and, like, I should really create, like, an actual lead. But I don't know what I'd do because I'm not singing and I don't have lyrics. I want to be pretty good. I want to catch some of them. 
So, I'm going to start working on the next bit, um, which sounds a little bit different. It's um, it's actually six to three rather than kind of going all over the place. The chord progression is actually a lot simpler in the second bit. So we're excuse me. So we're here, but in the second bit, it's. would be Ugh. oh Frederick Max thanks so much for the follow that scared the hell out of me um, so in the in the um, in the bottom part in the in the chorus um, we're going six to three which is the chord progression I was using before six seven one which is the minor minor a in this case and then back down to the seven and then way down to the three which can be this and then I don't know there's, there's a lot of options, but I'm not going to be super specific about that. I'm just going to kind of jam out and see what happens. I, I like the start just because it's a common chord progression that I use all the time. Um, and then 6 to 3, which follows the same... Same thing, and then six to seven, which is right here, and then seven to one. So that's a start, and we're going eight bar jumps, and really a lot of um, a lot of this is all is all one bar. Cause like in this beginning part, it was kind of jumping around with syncopation. And in the second part, it's all, it's all very, um, it's all very kind of set up a little bit cleaner. So it would be three, four, and then five, which would be do, 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 do. So three, Four. That'd be D. Yeah, and then five would be. That would be E. Suspend. Boop. Boop. And then dot 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 dot. Yeah, what am I doing? Yeah. And so I kind of want to turn this guitar into more of like a, a supporting rhythm. What in the hell is going on here? Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Thank you. 
And there's still some syncopation in the guitar, I feel. So, like I said, I'm going to go off the rails for what I normally, what I'm like following the, um, following the, um, the prescribed chord progression, which, like, to be fair, it is very similar to the chord progression over here. So it's like six, here, just go like this. Don't want any copyright violations. Yeah, so, like, I have, I have a very similar, similar thing, but I, um... I'm messing around with it. Oops, that would be... Yeah. <clears throat> And then I'm just gonna nab these just so I can grab it a little bit easier. I um I don't know how I feel about doing stuff like this. Just in general, not not necessarily due to like copyrights or whatever. It's just it's not hard, but at the same time I feel I feel like it's uh not as not as original, but not even that. Like I, I like doing it and it's really cool to like sit down and take apart a song and kind of figure out how it works. <laughs> That's the spirit. This is an A minor, not G minor. Jeez. Um, so, but aside from that, like I, I really enjoy doing this, but Sometimes I just kind of want to sit down and jam out some rad, rad like ambient or down tempo tunes too. So, so okay, we're gonna keep that, and we're gonna move, we're gonna move the um, the percussion to the four. So. Oops. Oh, that's not looping. And I'm not trying to say that, oh, this is dumb and I hate it, because I really do like doing this. It's it's a very good learning opportunity and it's a lot of fun, but when I um when I'm this warm, I just kinda wanna lie down. <laughs> but it's a show and the show must go on or something like that. I don't know. Oh shit. My wife texted me. Sorry, I am streaming right now. Is it important? My um my wife got rear-ended yesterday and she's fine. Everybody's okay. Um except for the guy that hit her ran off. So, uh we're having fun with the insurance on that. Um an ambient vibe. It's a pretty cathartic game. Yeah, like Pokemon Go is pretty cathartic. I I haven't played it a whole ton, but um So, what I want to do here is I want to take these chords and I want to stretch them into some kind of arpeggio or something else. So, um I'm just going to create an arpeggiator. Actually, these aren't going to work because they're a different size. Um, I'll leave this full on like that. Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, so it's like she sends me a message and I want to make sure that she's okay and like she's not sparring with the insurance. Okay, it can wait. That's super exciting. Um, but yeah, like, 
we got a police report and everybody said that it was the other guy's fault, especially since he ran away. So um, as long as they find the guy and hopefully he has insurance, it won't be a problem. If he doesn't have insurance, then it's a little bit more of a problem. But uh, something we can always overcome. So it's like I like this idea of having um, kind of a video game. Video gamey feel, but it's a little too much right now. So I'm trying to figure out the best way of handling this without being annoying. It doesn't matter at all for these notes. Is that because velocity isn't uh, really uh, yeah. So if I remove the guitar rig, it's barely playing at all. Nice. Um. It's kind of weird. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm sold on it either. Maybe if the volume if it was a little bit more out of the way. Yeah, power chords might be good. See, I'm. I wish I knew more about guitar because there's so many cool things you can do with guitars. Yeah, the arpeggiator works well for me. Um, it needs a little bit more work, but... Yeah, it would help if I got the right fifths, I guess, huh? Wait, is that right? Yeah, that's not right. Good job, Ben. Like I said, my brain is completely fried from um, from the heat and just the general BS of uh, the day. Go back to this real quick. Yeah, some extra oscillators and filters would help. Like, I feel like I'm just trying to get the, the bass line or the bass down for the structure, but at the same time, I only got like 40 minutes left. So I gotta get my ass in gear. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's what I was just talking about, just trying to get some more movement going on. 
and uh, and get that going. And then I can actually create like a lead of some sort for this, but I don't know what exactly I want to do. I also am wondering if I take this fifths and make them fourths. Oops, yeah, I don't want that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it might be longer than 20 seconds, but like I I don't know what I can do. Um Like I, I um I will check the stream when I'm done and like change the delay to ten seconds and see if that helps. I don't know if that run is actually gonna work. I appreciate that, but there's not much I can do about it. Um, let me bring the chords in for this just to make sure I'm playing things a little bit right. So when you're doing these, you want to focus on the the notes in the chord, which you know would make sense. I will, I will definitely see if I can find a fix for the delay. Um, some people were saying the delay was pretty bad earlier, and I don't know if they're still on, but... I don't like the note that ends on either. It's not the note. It's not my note. Um, that's why. No, it, it is useful data. I just, it's like, I, I, I can't do anything about it right now, so I don't want to think about it. <laughs> um, but I, I definitely will try to figure it out. Because it's, it's something that I don't want to have prevalent on the stream. I don't want people to have this weird, awkward delay that, uh, that causes issues in the long run. I, uh, it's annoying. That's for show. Yeah, the delay is real. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like it's not much you can do about it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to increase some of this. Work on 
messing around with these a little bit. Um, almost thinking like a little bit of ping pong delay will give it some uh, space. But I don't want to... This needs a bigger break. One thing I'm trying to do is like get more space in my solos because they don't... Because they don't need to fill up the entire thing. Thirty-three minutes, huh? Thank you. Glad you're digging it. I uh. Whoops, that's not the right note. I actually want to have this like dip down a little bit and then come back up. I think that might be neat. This is a weird song. I do like that pitch pen there, it helps differentiate them. So I need a lead here. See what happens if I chop these down a little bit. Oh, that's way better right there. Make them shorter. Yeah, so I'm thinking about the best way to do this, and um, oh yeah, I'm not I'm not surprised. I uh, the one problem with it being so hot out is that I have issues with. Um, background noise because I have a fan running. So the other thing I want to do is like engage something else right right here just to give it a little bit more a little bit more oomph and I have a feeling that if I bring another overdrive in here especially on the high end it's probably going to blow everything up. So I'm probably not going to like this but I'm going to give it a try. Oh yeah. There we go. Blew everything up. EQP1. I don't have that. I don't think. Oops. That's way louder, though. So it, that might work. Just to give it a little bit more of a differentiation, 
Otherwise, I might just mess around with something else. I don't know. Ugh, that sounds so blah. So, G. Ugh. Man, my... My brain is not working today. <sighs> Let's see. I don't... I honestly don't like these. Yeah. So, I, um... I'm thinking about maybe changing this down to here. See if that actually works. No, not really. Um, the attack. Is that? Ugh. Okay, duplicate. Actually, no, I want that attack to be super short. So let's just go like this. See if it works now. If that doesn't work, let's just bring up the volume on it. Trying a lot of different things today. And um, in this case, we don't want the reverb, which I think is part of it. So duplicate anyway. We'll figure it out eventually. I don't know. And just like compress the hell out of it and bring the volume up. And it sounds kind of janky by itself, but um when you layer that in with everything else, it should sound okay. Not really. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Plan B is just to get rid of all the extra fluff. Why am I doing it that way? That's so much easier. Too loud. Yeah, it might be. Um, I already hate that guitar. I like it, but I hate it. I uh, I feel like it's just. Yeah, and maybe if I just. Uh, that might be the differentiation I was looking for, just uh, bumping up an octave. And um, it's going like this. Too much. Too much still. Ugh. Stupid windows. Yeah, that's not a bad idea either. Sorry, excuse me. Ugh. Well, I might go over on this one. I don't know. A simpler sequence instead of 16th notes. Yeah, and there's just a lot of... Yeah, the guitar intro is cool. 
but then it just kind of <clears throat> it it's good until like right here and then I don't know what to do. So maybe I just ditch that all together. That's better. Well, this is going to be a kind of short track, which sucks, but it's not always the length. Because um, there's still a lot I want to do with this. So I can I can try your thought. On, oh, my God. I got to get rid of these. That's for sure. I can try your thought on like reversing things and seeing how that works. Just as a uh, flatten, just as an idea. Uh, so copy, delete, or undo, undo, paste. And the thing about reversing the whole thing is that happens, and then you're kind of shuffling things around. That's first, and second. <clears throat> Stupid chords. Stupid music. Meh. It's fine. I'm honestly not too put out by it. It's just one of those things where I had an idea and like I kind of threw myself into this project, not really being fully prepared for it, which is, you know, another one of my problems. <laughs> That's kind of neat. As long as it's far enough in the background. I also am not enjoying how... There, that's a little bit more even in the front. Okay. Well, I got a little bit more of a momentum on this. That's good. That yeah, that's good. Those are the. Oh my God! This heat. I uh, I'm blaming the heat, but really I just I'm not really sure what I'm doing, guys. Which is not it's not a bad thing. Um, it's just a thing. And uh, 
I got 20 minutes left, so I got to figure it out soon. First of all, let's use the correct notes, Ben. And second of all, let's actually move these to the right spot. Is that in the right spot? Oh, that's the wrong button to hit. I want it to go to zero. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Um, that's weird. Oh, right. Duh. So the reason why this is petering out is because the sample ended. So I can probably get away with it by going like that. But it falls too slow. So you just got to push this over here. Well, this has been an interesting stream. That's for show. Sure. And uh, I'm happy with it. And it ain't done yet, that's for sure, too. But... Well, if you ever have questions, please let me know. I'm, I'm happy to help out. <laughs> yeah, I, I really, really like Ableton. Like I said, I started with uh, FL Studio. And I, I really enjoyed FL Studio as well, but it... it the workflow just didn't gel as well with me. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And really at the end here, it shouldn't because this is the second loop, so it stays a suspended chord, which is going to be a problem with this, but we can just lie. Boop. It's like it never happened. Um, yeah, I have, uh, it's like, I have mixed feelings about the production of this, but you know, from, from the standpoint of like coming into this, not knowing anything about this style, I think that, uh, overall it, it turned out pretty good and I'm, I'm talking like it's done. I still have 15 minutes left, but, um, I think a lot of that is going to be. working on like a section here a section uh, like messing with the drums to make sure they uh they line up a little bit better Well enough. Yeah, I need to I need to bring in some kind of bass.
Okay. Um, let's try to make a simple like base real quick with this. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. It's gone off the rails. First of all, that's super quiet. been there yeah get out of here So that sounds decent, but it needs like fuzz on it and um, God, sound design, man. Ugh. What am I doing here? kind of like this all the way down nope that's too far down we went too far I'll just do the same thing It's getting there, it's getting there. might be a cop-out loop right here that I can do. It's kind of like a loop point. Would help if it actually looped. Um, I 
There's something about this instrument that I don't like. And I'm trying to figure out what it is. I also am really not happy that I have not been wearing my headphones, but honestly, I think that my brain would have shut off by now. Which sucks, because I, I feel like that that was a detriment to... Um, to this to the stream in general um which isn't a huge problem but i don't know yeah that's what i oh my god okay i'm sick of this I gotta put my headphones on. Oh, that's so much better. I just, I just, uh, I just need to be able to like modify this stuff. And my room is noisy, is un unfortunately. I don't know if it's too synthy or if it's something else. I think it's just mixing mixing and mastering and um, I'm sorry that I'm starting and stopping this so doing this. That's not a bad idea. Um, no, I, I don't want to say that I'm like grasping at straws here, but at the same time, I, I feel like I feel like I want to like make this the best song I can, and I am. Totally, I'm always open for suggestions, like seriously. Yeah. So with this first note here, and I'm gonna go over on time, I don't care. I do have something going on in an hour, so I can't go super over on time. But, like, I committed to using the headphones, so. So I might as well. Um, how long does this note go? There it is. Um, like. 
Ah. I... I mean, overall, that's pretty solid. I feel like all that I really need now, and just go away timer. Yeah, leave page. Um, all that I really want now. Is some kind of lead to to get me through the middle bits here. And I have a feeling that I'm going to go to massive. Oh my God, massive. Why are you so tiny? Why is everything so tiny? It's making me a little grumpy. Synth lead. <laughs> Even something like that, if I mess around with it a little bit more. Um, do I have cut off? That is doing nothing. Uh, phaser, reverb, what is causing that? Also, it's incredibly loud, and I'm sorry about that. So why is it hard panned a little bit to the right? So a lot of things that I don't understand about this one. Basically, something to fill in these gaps. Um, and I honestly like this uh, this instrument. I'm gonna I'm gonna tweak it a little bit more. I want it to be a little bit more notched, I think. And um, oh, my head's getting warm. It's a race against time. Do I finish the song or get heat stroke? No. The 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 thing that sucks is that um and it doesn't suck really. Is that I'm going to be recording um the uh, the mandatory social interaction show with my buddy Tim after this. And um so like I'll definitely be wearing headphones then because I want the audio to be as clean as physically possible. Um, but I actually have a different, different set of headphones that have like the microphone on it. Um, Uh, maybe I don't even need that.
Ah, that's not what I want. Yeah, I like having that there as like just basically a counter. Oops. It's so boring, though. And see, that's my problem that I was saying about having leads that just don't have breaks and space in them. So much stream pressure, yeah. Um, it's honestly, I like I like having the pressure. I like being able to do some kind of quote unquote performance for people. Um, I just doublets, yeah. And I'm I'm trying to do that. Just trying to trying to give everything a little bit more space. And honestly, it's not as important in the second part. And again, I can also toss in some of these. Which will help. Ugh, come on. Excuse me. You spelt it right the second time. Okay, so I'm just about at the end of this stream. I know it's gone on a bit long. Some people might call it a failure, but I don't. Oops. I'm probably 
missed a million text messages. Nope. Okay, good. Um, yeah. not necessary just let the solo die there and let something else come in i don't have to fill in every nook and cranny with this uh so i mean this is a shorter track oh and i haven't saved it yet jeez good job ben 20th um oh what did amy what did amy call it pocket man's Uh, yeah, delete. a fan of how high that is now. Excuse me. Um, yeah, like overall, I'm pretty pleased with this. It's just, uh, I wish it were a bit longer.
Yeah. Every time I say I'm done with this stupid song, I come back and... Did I change here? so much quieter here too <sighs> yep I'm totally done with this song guys it's just all over It needs more, it needs more something. And I think that something is just something in the background. Done for reals now. And my headphones are up super loud. Super quiet. The other thing I can do, and this might be considered a bit of a cop out, is just to. Oh, well, I don't have to extend it that much. Just kind of bring this over and just, uh, Yeah, totally done. Just like I said. I don't know. I like I like working on this stuff, so it's not like it's a big deal. Thank you. I I, I genuinely do appreciate that. I think I'm being a little hard on myself with this song. Um, which I, I kind of feel is justified in some degree, but at the same time, I do feel like this turned out pretty good for not really knowing what I'm doing, going in blind and, um, (laughs) 
and you know, kind of cranking out something that's pretty cool. But so. It's not the right. You know what? It was good before. Don't mess with what works. Let's see how many undos I can do. There. It was good before. So, yep, it's a short one. It's a little under a minute. <laughs> So it works though. It's good. I like it. So I'll just let this loop while I, while I talk. So thank you so much for people who have stuck around and um, hung out and chatted with me. <laughs> um, it, it means a lot, especially with a challenging challenge like this where I was really kind of going in um, not really knowing what I was going to do. And this turned out pretty cool overall. I wish it was longer, but honestly, for a theme song or something like that, it's not bad. And when it loops, it's all right, too. So, um, yeah. And another thing I might do off stream is just, like, cut out some of these instruments and make, like, a B-side for, like, building tension or something. So the, when the patrons are using this, they're able to have two different versions that they can switch between since this is very high energy all the way through pretty much. Um, so yeah, if you want to talk to me more, find me. Um, you can find me on Twitter. Oh, see CL official. Thank you so much for the follow. You can find me on Twitter at Ben underscore Burns. That's B-U-R-N-E-S. You guys are watching this on Twitch right now. And um, so you already know where to find me on Twitch. Um, but I do post all of these videos, all these recordings to YouTube. Um, which is Ben underscore Burns as well. And um, all my prior to our track challenges are there, as well as a lot of other content that's I find interesting anyway. And uh, beyond that, um, I have a patron, Patreon uh, campaign running, which um, basically gives these songs to my patrons to be used um, royalty-free or basically under a Creative Commons license that... Um, lets them use it in whatever project they want basically and um yeah <laughs> good job um yeah there it is giora giordano 92 thank you so much for the follow i really appreciate that so um i like i said you can find me on twitch twitter um, Patreon and YouTube at Ben underscore Burns, B-U-R-N-E-S. And um, yeah, I suggest you do all those various follows and subscriptions because I post and create a lot of different things. And uh, yeah, it's always cool to keep in touch with people who are interested in the things that I make because I like talking to them and I like encouraging them and helping them if they have problems. I'm definitely no, I'm no master at everything, but uh, I can always find the answer. Um, CL official, I do, uh, Ableton tutorials kind of off the cuff. Like if you have a question, I'm more than happy to answer it. Unfortunately, right now I'm actually on a little bit of a time crunch because I am scheduled to record with one of my buddies in like a half hour and I have to process this file and get, get it uploaded. Jadarno, thank you. Um, I, uh, I, like I've said before, my brain is a little fried and I, uh, I should have figured that out. Jordano. Thank you so much for the uh, subscription. I really follow, not subscription. I really appreciate that. Um, so, yeah. Again, thank you everybody so much for um, following and sticking around and just hanging out and offering suggestions. This song definitely would not have been made without your suggestions because there are definitely parts of it that I feel would not be as strong without other people's um, advice. So. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's all I have for today. I'm going to end the stream here. And um, yeah, again, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Good, fine. Stop streaming. All right. Take care. <laughs>